University of Texas football fans flooded the stadium for the team's season opener and are gearing up for one of the biggest games of the season in just a few days. It's a welcome sight for the hospitality industry after hotel occupancy rates took a big hit during the pandemic. KXAN's Avery Travis talked to an industry expert about the outlook for game weekend hotel capacity this season. Longhorn season ticket holder Rick Pena comes prepared for pregame and post. I book every weekend uh, a year in advance just to make sure that we have a hotel and then kind of cancel as, as the season goes and once the schedule comes out. Really felt a big, a big shift in uh, travel patterns uh, as soon as school uh, started back up. Hospitality industry experts say they're already seeing pre-pandemic level demand at Austin's 410 hotels this fall with travel patterns similar to 2019. Normal predictable patterns help us uh, with our staffing level, help us with our customer service. Um, we don't have uh, the starts and stop. We don't know how many folks to keep or not keep. Despite the spike, a recent report reveals staffing at hotels nationally is only at 84% of what it was before the pandemic. According to Vijay Patel, the president and CEO of Humble Origins Hospitality Management, the first UT game often creates what's called a multiple demand scenario. Basically, high demand, but tough to track which guests are just visiting for Labor Day or who's in town for the game. Meanwhile, next weekend, UT takes on top-ranked Alabama, and Patel is estimating for that weekend, nearly all of Austin's 47,000 hotel rooms could potentially get booked. In downtown, Avery Travis, KXAN News. Now, Patel, who also works with the Austin Hotel and Lodging Association, says there is still hope for last-minute planners. He says most area hotels will keep some rooms on hold, even during high-traffic weekends. Now, as the temperatures drop, hotel prices nationally are expected to cool off for travelers, too. That's according to the travel booking app Hopper. It reports hotels nationwide cost $189 per night on average this Labor Day weekend. That's down from a summer peak of $193 per night reported in June. Hopper says the nationwide decrease is part of a seasonal decline as many summer travelers head home for the school year. The Labor Day average, however, is up 6% compared to last year's numbers.